uh, would be the best thing we could do to, to help clean up our game. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Mike and Spokane. Keep those questions coming in. And this is what's coming up next on the Mark Few Show. I don't know if I have it all, but you know what? I'll make it sure. I'll make it look like I have it all. That's for dang sure. Robert Sacre talks team, tattoos, and tears. And remember, Gonzaga, Illinois, coming to Key Arena Saturday, December 4th for the 2010 Comcast Battle in Seattle. Catch two championship contenders in a rematch of last year's overtime thriller. Tickets on sale now at all Ticketmaster outlets. And welcome back to the Mark Few Show. Well, the big man on campus, right? That's the perfect, perfect, perfect description of Rob Sacre. Well, he's seven feet tall, 260 pounds. He truly is the big man, and he's got the personality to go along with it. We had a chance to sit down with the man in the middle for Gonzaga. Okay, Rob. Where do we start? Where do you want to start? Junior year. Junior year. Yeah, so this is the year in a lot of college careers, basket, athletically speaking, where guys make big jumps and they become very important players. You've been important, but now there's a lot more focus on you this year. Do you feel that? Of course. You know, um, the guys look up to me because I've been here four years. It's not just be I've been here three. I've been here four. And the guys look up to me, and uh, I, I need to show great leadership with you guys, and I need to help everyone out, especially the freshmen, and just be a good guy. How about your PG and D? PG and D. Your personal growth and development. <laughs> <laughs> are you a better? How much better are you today? And was there an upswing this off season? That's uh, when you guys was, really get better, right? You know, there was an upswing. Uh, I played with the Canadian national team, so I got a lot of development with them. Worked on different parts of my game, uh, a little shooting on the outside, a little bit. But you know what? It, I think just showing leadership and just being a great leader on this team is what we need, is, uh, especially to, for us to go further in the tournament and going anywhere this year. So that's what I was really focused on. You know what would just frighten me? What? If I'm like the two guard, three coming down, set up the offense, and big Rob. You're going to play defense and get out on guys this right. year, right? Right. That's frightening. <laughs> You're like seven feet tall and what, 1,200 pounds? 1,200 pounds. Yeah. I'm a semi, basically. Okay. Is that what you're telling me? Uh, yeah. I take pride in my defense, and uh, I, that's what I think. We all take pride in our defense on this team, so that's a big that's a big thing, and I'm excited to play defense anytime on anybody. What about scoring? We're going to see more of that. Out of, this of course, game. of course. Uh, Drop step, jump hook, everything, everything. You got it all now? I don't know if I have it all, but you know what? I'll make it sure. I'll make it look like I have it all. That's for dang sure. What's a what's a good uh, average point night for you this year? I'm looking for uh, 13, 14 points a game. You know, just whatever helps my team win. As long as we win, that's all I care about. And 13 to 14 points is good to me. You got new tattoos? My mom's gonna watch this, so no, I didn't get any new tattoos, but. Um, I have some tattoos. Yeah. I have some new tattoos. Stephen Gray. My roommate. Yes. Maddie B is gone. Stephen Gray now the guy? Yes. Can he do it? Yes. Why? He did it at Bainbridge. You know, he can do it anywhere. He does it on video games. So if he can do it on video games, he can do it on the court. So I feel like, you know what? He's, he's going to have a breakout year. He's going to play really well. Um, I'm, he's worked hard this offseason, so it's sky the limit for him. All right, tell me about Elias. Uh, what do Elias you want to know? Her well, what's he like? He's German. That's surprising already, but he's a good guy. He's fun. 
Uh, he just likes to have fun. He's really low key though, and that's the best part about him. That's, I'm always afraid of low key people. Why? Well, I'm not afraid of you because you're like you're out there. <laughs> well, right? I know. But, but he's really quiet. He, it's and the then quiet ones you have to worry apart. about, right? Is right. that what you're trying to tell yeah. me? Yeah. Well, that is true. Yeah. That is true about him. Yeah. You like playing alongside him? I love playing Why with him. Why is it fun? It's fun because it, he takes the double teams away from me, and you know what? Uh, people focus on him, and that, that's when I can just come in and do my thing a little bit. Oh, Linick. Yes. You're not the only seven footer on this. I team. know. We got baby. He's going to be seven, eight by the time he leaves Gonzaga. Watch. Yeah. Watch. Uh, the dogs. The dogs are great. The oh. best way I can describe is, you know, less accidents after practice. So I don't have to be upset or anything like that. But I can't be upset because it was a long practice. But you know what movie I watched last night? No. Marley and Me. Have you seen it? I have. Did you cry? You did! You cried. It's an up. Hey, it's a movie that you know any man, any grown man will cry to. Okay, just just watch the movie. I didn't like cry like boo hoo, yeah. but like you know a tear was like I had to wipe my face a little bit. You know, it's one of those things. Honesty is the best policy. Time for the subway sub of the week. And it goes to none other than Mr. Sam Dower. How's this for a line? 7 of 12 from the floor, 3 of 5 from the free throw line, 17 points and 5 rebounds in just 19 minutes. Way to go, Big Sam. Make sure to visit your local Subway restaurant today for the newest $5 foot long, the Subway Club. It's Jared's favorite and just 5 bucks. Only at Subway restaurants, proud sponsors of the Gonzaga Bulldogs. We'll be right back. Man, ever since Sam came here last year, we've we've 